TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick. K-I-C-K. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, right here, if we go live and you happen to miss it, this or any highlights will be and things of that nature. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. We just started Sherlock. We watched that Friday. It's a W show. Every time you turn on the episode, it's a 90 minutes, so it's like a movie. I'll take it. And we got the Discord as well, man. Discord plays a big role now that you can't send links in the chat through Kick, so you send it through Discord and we watch. Uh, this is Quang Tran. I used to react to some of his stuff when he did like Harold's Chicken and things like that, but this is uh, English Sunday Roast on a Friday afternoon. I'm here for it. Maybe this will give me the motivation I need to actually put it in motion to cook one myself. I still want to try it in the UK when I get there, but I, maybe I'll cook it myself one day. And my English Sunday roast. Sunday roast, so don't mind the color. It just has been uh, uh, exposed to some oxygen, and that's why it's just kind of this color, but it's still all good, okay? So let's marinate our Sunday roast. I want you to tell me if you're doing it right. Those three tablespoons of oil here. Two tablespoons of salt, tablespoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, nothing to it. Nice, beautiful, clean gloves, massage. I love the way he measures stuff, man. To me, it just be looking so off, but it, uh, I guess it's not because he's a real chef and I'm just a, a three-star Michelin chef. That in. Massage this in very well. So every get into every single crack of this because you want that flavor to seep into the big bad boy here. So we got some potatoes already boiling up already. So they're nice and cooked for about 15 minutes. Nice boiled potatoes right minutes. onto our bacon sheet. Some oil. The mix, maybe two tablespoons, tablespoon of salt, all around, and just keeping it simple, a tablespoon of paprika. For color, paprika's for color, it really don't got no taste, right? Very simple, okay? I was bringing you that 500 roast going in. Yes, the heat is very high right now just because our potatoes going to the bottom, because we're gonna cook this for addition, or not additional, we're gonna cook this for about 50 minutes on a the high, then we're gonna turn it off 50. after 50 minutes and just let this sit in the oven without opening it for additional hour, all right? Here we go. Oh, okay. That's like, I feel like I knew that trick. You know what I'm saying? I just haven't used it in so long because I am a three-star Michelin chef. I boil carrots here. Boiling for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm just gonna toss it into my pan here. Just a nice quick saute with some butter. In the same water as the carrot we boil, we got broccolini. We're just gonna boil this for about I ain't never seen that type of broccoli in my life. One minute. Once cooked, into our butter or excess butter with our carrots and let them all swim together, all right? Here we go, a simple gravy. Without even knowing you made a simple gravy. So a nice pan or pot here, two clumps of butter in. Per cup of flour in. Post this up until your desired color. So I kind of like mine a little dark just because when you add the broth and stuff in, it will lighten up. Once you got your desired roux color, we gotta turn off your heat. Turn on the fan. That butter really cooked down, but that is a fat pan. And because it will get a little smoky, but make sure your heat is off, right? So here we go. 425 mil of beef broth. Make sure your fire is off, right? A teaspoon of big bouillon here, our liquid form. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon white pepper. Teaspoon of salt, but we're gonna adjust and taste this for our own liking in the end. Kitty. Now he measuring it right for the gravy. Gang man, let's chop the steak down for you to see, right? So. That should look good, my boy. What did I eat for breakfast today, man? I had raisin bran. Oh, if you guys like it more well done, just cook it over the top. If you don't, Eat it as it is, right? So, why he cut it that way and not in the other way? Look good to me. I like a little pink. Oh, wait a minute. That thing's still bleeding. Oh, man. 
it's a little raw. If you guess panini press, you're correct, my friend. So, don't be- Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it was still raw. 50 minutes wasn't enough. It's a shame that you messed up on your roast. You can always fix it, all right? Nobody's perfect. I don't know why when it comes down to steak, a lot of people get a lot of crucial with steak. Guys, yeah, it can be fixed, all right? Got instant points taken off from us English people. Let's go on with our Yorkshire pudding. One cup of flour, one cup of milk here, five cracked eggs into the mix. We got a half a teaspoon of salt. We beat until smooth. I got some hot oil in some muffin tin here, maybe two tablespoons in each. This has been okay. This looks correct. Heating in the oven at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. In. Half a ladle in, half a ladle in. Okay, like I said, oven's preheated at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna toss this in for about 10 to 15 10, minutes. 15. To on it because it will. I'm a Yorkshire pudding expert. I've tried it. Never made it from scratch, but burn. I'm gonna do the one with um the Yorkshire pudding and the sausage. What's that one called again? I'm gonna do that soon. Burn. Okay. Look at that Yorkshire pudding while it's still up and at it. All right. It's nice and high, right? When I take it out, it's gonna be nice and flat. I don't know why. Get some greens. You know why? I said you're not a professional English cooker. UK cooker. Get some orange. Okay. I feel like in the UK, they do all the, the roast all in one pan. Like from start to finish. Am I wrong or right? To Yorkshire pudding. Nice and high. You guys see it really high? Well, I'll give you three. Look at this. See this? Nice and high. Okay. I feel like this is a fail. This is all a fail except the Yorkshire pudding. If it flattens out, you know I did it right. All it all is now is our gravy. I could be wrong. Man. On a scale of one to ten, let me know in the comments what y'all rated, man. It probably tastes good though. This is my Sunday lunch you gotta remember when he cooks is his take his his spin on it any english men and ladies out there parsley then we'll call it a day here order 69 your beautiful son so you think you know wicks but do you really this is like gonna be a trigger warning right now i feel like a lot of controversial things went on on this and this is up my guy and girl. Sunday roast is a steeple in England, in the UK. And I feel like he did a lot of things that y'all are not gonna like. I feel like a lot of stuff is incorrect. I don't know. English Sunday roast. So you guys see how I did it. Let's just go for a Yorkshire pudding first just because no, you gotta fill up the Yorkshire pudding. I don't want it to be in cold, right? So Yorkshire pudding first, super on for this. I don't have a bite of it. Mm. You gotta put a carrot, a potato, a piece of meat, all of that in there. A bite of everything. Look. Steak is still very delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Not gonna lie, it still look good. Like I would, I would eat it definitely. But it's just not the way y'all do it, right? Like. I know, I know, Quang, Quang, that it's your take, your your look, outlook on it. But I feel like this is a controversial video. Anybody from England watching this, this they're gonna be tight about this. Sunday roast is a steeple. Some you gotta do it exactly like they do it, just like like fried chicken and 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 or or. Uh, not fried chicken, um, mambo sauce or or mild sauce in Chicago. You got to do it exactly how it's done. I think Sunday roast is something you got to do exactly how it's done. You can't venture off and try your own, your digs on it. You just got to rock it out how they do it in the UK. Let me know what y'all think, man. It don't look bad, though. I'm still eating it <laughs> 10 out of 10 times, but I'm just saying. Run that circle. Mm. What is that? I don't even know what that is. 
Broccolini? Is that a real thing? I'll tell you what. In Canada, we have a thing where it's called a Jigs Dinner. A lot of Newfoundlanders eats a nice jig dinner. Never heard of it. I'm gonna say, very similar. The only difference in this, look, I just seared See that. It's still red, it's still nice and good. I just seared the front and back. So it doesn't scare you guys? <laughs> no, it scared you, it was raw, I seen it. It's still very delicious. Mm. You gotta get one good bite. Put everything in one bite. Exactly like a Jake's dinner. But everything's boiled, then drenched in raven. Mmm. I feel like normally he would eat everything. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I'm gone.